This is a quick video on how to move your third party domain from Squarespace to Shopify. Now I just got finished doing this. Um, so unfortunately I can't walk you through it again because it's already done, but I'm going to talk you through it and it's really simple. Uh, if you need any additional help, I'll put a link below where you can get in touch with me. Um, and I could uh, help you one-on-one, -on -one. but if you follow the video, uh, or if you listen to my voice and follow these instructions, you'll get there. Um, all right. So you've got a third party domain. Let's say it's, uh, let's say it's GoDaddy. Um, all you need to do is come into Shopify, go to your settings, go to domains. Uh, you're going to click on connect existing domain, which is going to be on the top. And then you're going to just type that domain in and click next. Um, I'm, I'm just going to do it for, uh, I'm just going to go halfway. Um, all right. And so this is a GoDaddy domain and I can connect this automatically, which means I won't have to go in and edit any DNS settings that will happen by itself. Um, and once I do that, I can just, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> um, or I can connect manually. Now, if this was a name cheap domain, I would have to connect it manually. And in that case, I would have to go to my DNS settings and change the A record and C name record. And I'll also have to delete the existing A name record and the existing C name record. Uh, now, if, if that's confusing, doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's okay. Um, I'll put another link below to the, uh, to, to specifically what you need to do there. And, um, and that's, that's it. That's how you move a third party domain from, uh, Squarespace to Shopify. It's really simple. Um, now if you're trying to transfer a domain, um, would have to probably make a different video for that. And if your domain is hosted on Squarespace, like if you bought your domain from Squarespace, then I'm not exactly sure uh, what the steps are as of this video. But again, if you if you got it through GoDaddy or Google or Namecheap or one on one, one in one or whatever other third party domain providers there are out there, then uh, this is how you go about it.